Hello, Malcolm here, and welcome to Highlights from Hebrews, episode 13. And today we're just going to do a little bit of a look back over the previous 12 episodes and conclude this overview of the overview of Hebrews. Later on, we will be going through the book of Hebrews chapter by chapter, both in our Friday teaching, our Sunday preaching, and in these mini podcast episodes. But we have looked at some of the context the last few days, the why the book was written, who it's written to, when it might have been written, and who the people were it was written to. We've talked about Jesus as being superior as a person and bringing a superior covenant. We've talked about his humanity blended with his deity. We've talked about the expressions of love offered by the writer to the Hebrews, his exhortations and warnings, his encouragements and examples, and the applications he makes so that they know how to put into practice what he's been telling them theologically. We've talked about family responsibilities, about the fact that we have a priesthood for all, and that leaders must follow, leaders must lead with faith, and followers must follow with a desire to make leaders' lives a joy. This is just a, I mean, this is scratching the surface of Hebrews, of course, and we will go into more detail, but isn't it amazing how much there is in this incredible book? We've got an amazing Jesus, and we've got an amazing book to look into. So far, what have you found that's most useful? Did you do the sit down and read through the book of Hebrews in one go? Have you tried that? If you didn't, then give that a go. Have you scanned through the book to find its themes and threads for yourself, not just what you might read in a booklet. It's important that we do these things for ourselves, and we use guides and booklets. That's good. But let's also make sure we do our own study. That way, when it's our own, it tends to stick better. Have you had any thoughts so far about what you're learning most from the book of Hebrews? Perhaps leave a note, leave a comment wherever you hear this recording, because I'd find it interesting to to know what you're discovering, and I'm sure other people would too. Well, until the next one, we'll finish, as we always do, with these verses from chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Until episode 14, God bless. <laughs>